Hello, I'm Agathis and I'm online and welcome back to the game of Hand of Fate. In our last episode, we defeated the Jack of Plague, the Dust, sorry, the Rat Man Captain. And now we'll move forwards with our next adventure. Let's see what the dealer has for us this time. Back so soon? I knew you would not falter. Come meet the first of my kings. Ah. Make your choices. Now, endless mode has been unlocked, and we could do that. But, as I understand it, um, endless mode is literally endless. You keep playing until you die. And it uses all of the cards that you have with you in your deck. This can be good or bad. This is the earliest time we could possibly play endless. We've just unlocked it. What it means is that um, the cards in your deck will start to be recycled in order to keep you going through the endless process. If you don't have many cards, the same cards are going to come up a lot. Uh, if you've got a lot more cards, then you'll have actually a more varied and interesting experience. So, we'll continue with story mode now, but we will do endless mode soon. The King of Dust. When we play the King of Dust, we start with a curse. Compensation. Whenever the player finishes a combat, they lose one gold per 15 health. Is that per 15 health lost? Or per 15 health remaining? It's not clear. Okay. But what is clear is that every time we finish a combat, something bad happens to us. We lose gold. So, we want to avoid combat in this adventure where we can. Uh, that's going to be tricky because the dealer is going to put four ambush cards into the deck and five six of dust cards into the deck. Mm. The king of dust is the perfect implement to ensure your destruction. All right then. Would we like to use a recommended equipment and encounter deck? Well, we'll start with this anyway, and change it from there. We're still playing Apprentice. Let's have a look at our equipment deck. So four magical weapons. Never mind these weapons anymore. These are all out of date. Uh, a couple of shields are still there. There's one Fortitude's Breath and one Normal Shield. Um, armor of Cold, Berserker Armor, Chains of Rage, Medium Armor, which we don't really need, but we can sell it. A uh, number of helmets, one pair of gloves, and a few artifacts. Yep, that seems okay. We'll stick with that, I think. I'm happy with that. Let's have a look at the encounters it's chosen for us. Right, once again, I'm going to take out these DLC ones, just to start with. Um, now, let's start on this end. Uh, Twisted Canyon is fine, the Maiden is fine. Mr. Lionel, he's useful. Helpful Priest, yeah. Give them all our food, but okay. Three Ratmen hunting that we can't remove. Dead King's Hall. That's got combat in. Let's take that out. Let's see. Ember Town Hero. That's probably got combat in. Lone. Uh, I don't know. Treasure Chest. That might have combat in. The Landlocked Lover Part 2. Noble Trader, King of Dust, 
culling the rat men. That might that is going to help us get rid of the rat men hunting. So we want to get that one done as quickly as possible. Battle at Brooktop. That definitely has a battle in it. Um, asleep in the forest doesn't sound great, but we can go with this. But what we, can we put in? We can put in Devil's Carnival. That, that may have combat in it, but it doesn't sound like it. Charity Part 2. That probably doesn't have any combat in it. Um, what else? I quite like the Field of Poppies effect. That was quite useful. I'm going to put that one back in. River, maybe? Mm. I need to put in five more. Okay. Well. I'll take Lost in the Desert. I'll take A Wife's Fury. We can try Chosen Chest, and we can try... Ember Town Hero. And maybe we'll take one of the DLCs. Let's try Devil's Wager. Let's see if we can get that one out of the way. The others are all fine. These are all combat ones. Local Peasant was kind of nice because she could tell us where things were. Yeah, let's take Devil's Wager out and put Local Peasant in. She was kind of handy to have. Okay, that's done. Let us start. In these lands, the King of Dust takes his tithe of all. So those are the Apprentice cards going in. There's our curse. There's the extra ambush cards. There's the extra Six of Dust cards, some shops, and off we go. You face the first of my kings. Each has shaped the nature of their forces with the strength of their will. They will turn that power to your destruction. Good, we still have the Guardian Angel blessing, that's nice to have. Uh, it's a very small first level. Twisted Canyon, our old friend. You see a weapon glinting in the sunlight, lying next to a skeleton at the bottom of the canyon. The walls of the canyon are covered in thick vines, perfect for climbing. Well, let's climb down to retrieve the weapon then. Three successes, one failure. Choose from these options. The failure card was definitely on top there. So that's a success. There it was. Very carefully, you make your way to the bottom of the canyon. You retrieve the weapon from the ancient corpse. Draw one equipment card. He flips through until he finds a weapon. Frostfang! 28 damage, cone of ice, excellent starting weapon. Yes, we will equip that. Are you sure that's the right approach? I am. Cave Mouth. This is a new one. The next step of your journey takes you from a cave out to the feet of an imposing forest. You have discovered the exit to this area. We will turn back and get these last little bits of exploring done. You head back into the cave and keep exploring. The Maiden. One day in a shady forest, you encounter an elf maiden. She stops to greet you. I am Merith of the Forest Folk. My people have long helped the mortals of this realm, 
What boon would you ask of me? We can get longer life, supplies, gold, or a blessing. We got a blessing last time, and quite frankly, I'm not impressed with the blessings. I'm going to ask for gold again. Merith seems surprised. It is unlike an adventurer to beg for coin, but very well, if that is your wish. Dealer draws me three gold gain cards. Fifteen gold. I'm sure you are grateful for that. Ten gold. Forty gold. Excellent. Many enchanted weapons have powerful abilities that can turn the tide of battle, but only if their wielder remembers to use them. Farewell, mortal. A good reminder, Merith. You have to use that frost fang ability. Mr. Lionel. Our final card on the first level. Whilst enjoying your evening meal at the local tavern, a strange old man takes the seat next to yours. He taps your shoulder quite painfully with his wooden staff to get your attention, and you notice that he appears to be a goblin, poorly disguised as a human. His wizened face grins at you with a hint of madness. My name is Mr. Lionel. If you give me what I need, boy, I will conjure up your heart's desire with this wizarding wand of my own creation. He cackles uncontrollably for a few moments, then sits patiently waiting for your answer. Hmm. I don't think I have a shield, so I'll ask him what he needs. The goblin immediately begins to wander around your person, prodding and poking at your weapons and apparel before making a sudden grab at something. This is different. What did we lose? Did we lose Frostfang? He then sits considering you for a while before slapping the table with his hand. Aha! I know what you need! Here! Mr. Lionel pulls out a large empty cloth sack and holds it open from you. Reach in and you will receive your heart's desire! We draw one equipment card. Ring of Poverty. Every dying man would trade wealth for health. Hmm. When this ring is sold, all the player's gold is lost. But the player receives plus one max health for every five gold lost as a result of this sale. That's different. So if we sold that now, we'd lose 80 gold and gain 16 max health. Could be something good for the end of, a, of an adventure. Oh, I missed that. We shall meet again, said the goblin. What did we lose? We lost... I don't know what we lost. Oh, we lost our helmet. Okay. Yeah. We lost our helmet. Okay. So we move back east and south to the exit. Cave mouth. The next step of your journey takes you from a cave out to the feet of an imposing forest. You have discovered the exit to this area. We will exit the cave. We embark on the next leg of our adventure. Do you understand how this game works now? Do you comprehend the stakes? Not really. You still keep talking about memories and I still don't get it. Noble trader. Noble in mind or simply noble by birth. Mm, this is new. I will happily wager on the outcome. Okay, a I token do not then. think you have what it takes. A nobleman approaches on a chariot as you walk the streets of Stigal. He notices you and comes to a stop. Stigal is the arena city. Hmm, what kind of a voice does this guy have? Um... Mm. 
Greetings, mercenary. I am a collector of rare weapons, and yours intrigues me. Would you part with it for gold? Okay, so we either sell Frostfang or don't sell Frostfang. Um, I kind of wanted to keep Frostfang. I guess we... well, no, not right now. I, if I have to decline, we'll do it again, but I kind of need that weapon right now. Disappointing, but my old fault, I suppose, for expecting to find a business-savvy peasant, hmm? He rides away. Yeah, didn't get that one. Kind of, I really do need that sword right now. Asleep in the forest. Spirits roaming the darkness. With the struggles, the boundaries are weaker than they've ever been. So, it's a new card with a token. This token will unlock more cards if you can defeat this encounter. While sleeping in the forest, you are jolted awake by a voice calling your name. You see a vaguely human-shaped ghost rushing towards you. You are quick to your feet, weapon already in hand. The ghost stops abruptly, hand signalling that it means no harm. Its voice is weak and distant. You forget me already? Has this place always already corrupted you so? We can attack it or lower our weapon. Well, it seems friendly enough. We lower our weapon. I should not be here. I fear his servants know already where I am. For a brief moment, the ghost's pale eyes feel achingly familiar. Please come home soon. You blink. And the ghost is gone. At your feet is a bag of food. The dealer draws you one food gain card and the card's token is now ours. Ten food. Here is your token. Well done. Well that was different. We didn't really have to do anything. Apart from lower our weapon I suppose. Okay, premonitions of things to come, I suppose. Field we flee of into all sorts of vices, do we not? All in the hope that we will forget. Maybe we need to go back and sell our sword to uh, the nobleman. You wander into a field of poppies. Too late, you realise that the poppies are making you sleepy. Okay, Apprentice Part 3, Travelling Jeweller and Hitch a Ride. And they get reshuffled. You wake up groggy and disorientated. Okay, back we go then. Apprentice Part 3. There's a token in it for you, if you win. <clears throat> Returning to the training grounds, you find the captain of the guards waving around a glowing rod. Well, what you do at the weekends is your own business, I suppose. Today, all recruits will learn to use magical weapon abilities. It is unlikely that any of you will see or use one of these in actual combat, but you never know when some overambitious hero is going to drop dead beside you. Knowing how to activate, activate a magical item can mean the difference between life and death. Magical weapon abilities need time to cool down before, between each usage, but can be used any number of times per battle. Four of Plague, Four of Plague, and a special blessing curse. Training Part the gods look 3. Upon you favorably. Magical weapon abilities are lethal. Thunderstick. Equipment with this trait crackles with the thunder of the gods. Even mages tremble at the sight, fearing a power beyond their ken. So this is a 35 damage weapon. 
Each strike inflicts lightning damage and press the button for lightning to strike around us. Alright, let's go. I think we have to use the mace ability. You must use your waist's your weapon's magical ability to complete this combat. Press the button to unleash the magic of your weapon. For me it's the mouse wheel so it doesn't show up properly. Alright, getting close and... and... there. Okay, I got one. Okay, dodge, 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 dodge until it recharges. There. Oh, got three! Three down. One. Okay, I got one there. Got two. Two with that one. Up, up, up. Dodge and roll, dodge and roll, dodge and roll, dodge and roll. There. Wham! Last one. Right, how much gold are we going to lose? We lost eight gold. Okay, we lost eight gold because why? Because we ended with 110 health. So if we took a load of damage, we'd lose less gold, but then we'd have to heal up again. Hmm. Remember to use your magical weapon to its full potential if you ever get the chance. The card token is now ours. So we lose those weapons again. So, oh, we've got a sword, we've got Frost Fang. Okay. Let's see what's up here. Hitch a ride. A horse is a fine companion. I'm sure you'll leave this one in time. You do not seem to have the temperament for friends, even in the animal kingdom. Right, this is the exit from the level. Hmm. You found a friendly trader willing to let you ride on his wagon. Do we take it or do we... Try and get these. We've got so much food. Let's see if we can clear out the level. We'll turn back. You tell the trader to go ahead without us. Go south. Go west. Go south. Noble trader. Wealth separates the highest from the lowest. And that is, in itself, a form of virtue. Win this and claim my token. A nobleman approaches on a chariot as you walk the streets of Stigal. He notices you and comes to a stop. I say, greetings mercenary! I am a collector of rare weapons and yours intrigues me. Would you part with it for gold? Yeah, we'll sell our weapon to the nobleman. We need to get the token, we need to unlock it at some point. Splendid! I've never seen one of these! The card's token is now ours. Enjoy your newfound wealth! The nobleman rides away. And we get five gold gain cards. Fifteen gold. Forty gold. Twenty gold. 40 gold again, and 25 gold. Okay, we can buy Frost Fang three times over with that money. As soon as we find a shop, on we go. Again, now ghostly friend slides into view. Okay, what do we do with this guy now? You pitch camp under the stars and wake up feeling refreshed. The dealer draws you one health gain card. Okay. 
Gain 15 health. If Maybe. you gain health, then I work harder to take it. Okay, so we can't see the ghost twice in the same adventure, perhaps. Or something like that. Final card, a traveling jeweler. In a shady grove off the beaten trail, you find a traveling merchant looking to trade with wandering adventurers. Jewelers specialize in selling artifacts and rings. Such an expensive market demands high prices. Well, let's approach the shop. Greetings, wise traveller! I have much to offer you. I don't know if we'll buy anything here because the prices will be high. But let's see. Okay, Damocles for 39. Consuming Shame for 44. Mercenary Contract for 44. And Healer's Ring for 17. Interesting. That sounds interesting. 17 gold is not much. If, whenever the player receives healing, they gain 1 gold. Sure, let's take that. No benefit if they were already healed. Yeah, I like that. Wealth and health. A recipe for a happy life. I doubt things will end that way, mind you. <laughs> Thanks, that's inspiring, dealer. I don't think there's anything we want to sell. No. I don't want to sell the Ring of Poverty just yet. I want to sell that towards the end of the adventure. Maybe on the last level. Back we go. One north. One east. One north. One east. And finally... We hitch a ride. It's better than trudging along a muddy road. Certainly. You found a friendly trader willing to let you ride on his wagon. You have discovered the exit to this area. Hitch a ride or turn back. Well, we will hitch a ride, but we will do that in the next episode. That is the end of the second level of The King of Dust. I hope to see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Please lem remember to like the video and consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already done so. Let me know in the comments how you think the game is going and when you think I should do Endless Mode. Until then though, I am Agathis, I am going offline and I will see you next time.